Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We are going to sweeten things up in the episode today, making a key lime mousse that is absolutely delicious and you'll be amazed at some of the key ingredients. First things first, we take our blender and our avocados. We are going to open the avocado and put the flesh of two large or the equivalent of two large avocados in the blender. For those of you that have heard of the doctrine of signatures, it means that the food looks like or resembles the part of the body that it is affected for. And in the case of avocados, it does look like the woman's ovary, and it is actually excellent for fertility. It's interesting about avocados. So we have the avocado in the blender. Next we add two ripe bananas. Now the bananas that I have here aren't quite as ripe as I'd like, but these are the ones that were available at the moment. When the banana gets the little brown spots on the outside, it's actually better for you, but you'll also know that it's higher in starch. It's a bit sweeter and more sugary. So if you're diabetic, then choosing bananas that are a little bit green will actually help you out a bit with your blood sugar levels. So the two uh, bananas are in there with the two equivalent of two avocados. Next, we need two thirds of a cup of lime juice and two thirds of a cup of lemon juice. So I'm going to juice those now. Pop that in. To juice the lemon, roll it, chop it in half crossways, and then use your juicer. Okay, so we've juiced our limes now. I'm going to take it out and measure to make sure that we have two thirds of a cup of lime. two tablespoons of lime rind. Now this is really interesting. Most of us know that you can grate the lime rind off using a grater. Um, there's a great tip going around at the moment. If you put the whole lime or lemon in the freezer and then just grate from there, it's so much easier to access. But with a high speed blender, we have the benefit of just being able to cut away the outside of the green rind with a knife. These are the juiced limes that I've already used and we'll be able to get our two tablespoons in that way. Remember, don't include too much of the white pith, otherwise your recipe will be bitter. So you just want the green rind. So we'll measure in two tablespoons of the lime rind. There we go. Next, we need two thirds of a cup of lemon. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. Roll, cut in half, and juice. Lemons are a very alkalizing fruit. They may be acidic outside of the body, but when you consume them, they have an alkalizing effect on the body. So a great way to start your day and help your digestive system is to squeeze the juice of one lemon into 500 mils of water and consume that about half an hour before you have your breakfast. Yum, yum. Just to make sure no seeds go into our mixture, we can use a strainer from the juicer while we're pouring the juice in, it'll catch any extras. Those seeds can make the flavour a bit bitter. Now for two tablespoons of lemon rind. So there's the zest of our lemons. We'll just measure in two tablespoons of that. So this is a really easy recipe, only a few ingredients. The last two things to finish off quarter of a cup of sweetener of your choice. My choice is coconut nectar, so I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of this rich coconut nectar. Coconut nectar is full of protein, there are amino acids which are excellent for your body, so it's a great sweetener to use. And last but not least, a pinch of our Himalayan rock salt. So there you have it, all the ingredients in the blender. All you need to do now is pop the lid on, secure it firmly, place it on the blender cushion. There we go, flick the blender on, and we're gonna try 60 seconds to start in our optimum 9200.
deep, it's done. So here we have a key lime mousse that is absolutely delicious and very easy to make. All we need to do is pop it in a bowl and eat it. This is a really easy to make mousse and you can adjust it to taste. But remember it makes about three to four servings or even more depending on how sweet your tooth is. Let me try it. Mm. Yum. You can serve this one as a dessert, a little ramekin dish, finish it off with a little grated lime rind, maybe a mint leaf. Absolutely delicious. If you want more great recipes like this, remember to subscribe to the Fruity TV channel. And if you need an optimum blender, make sure you go down below in the description and find the closest web Fruity website to you. Ciao for now.